we're creating the Gandum Village, a space where people feel empowered and learn on how to live a more sustainable and, if possible, reg regenerative lifestyle. Meaning, by creating a, this small village where one can learn about sustainable construction, one can learn about sustainable food production and consumption, we are able to create incentives or to show people how easy it is to have a positive impact in our world. We know that we have all these problems that we have to solve from climate change to desertification and we have to have a positive impact, not only a neutral way of living, we have to be positive impact, meaning we have to regenerate and that's what we want to do here. Create a space where we're not only regenerating the space we're at, we want people to, that come here and pass through the village to go back to their homes, to do, go back to their workspaces and feel empowered to also have a positive impact on their lives. Hi, I'm Martina. I'm the co-founder of Gandum Village. I'm originally from Bern, Switzerland. I studied geography and worked in, in research uh, around topics uh, with climate change and agriculture and forestry. Hey, I'm uh, João. I'm from Portugal, lived for almost 10 years in Switzerland, now back in Portugal since six years with Martina and our three kids. I studied um, economics at first and then sustainability, worked as a consultant with food uh, sustainability and food waste reduction, and um, now working on creating the Gandum village. No, we were very happy in Switzerland, but still we've, we felt that need to take some action and uh, feel more connected to nature because we were just working um, on the computer, writing reports and we want to put our hands, uh, get our hands dirty. So that's why we came here to Alentejo and um, where we feel that we have a, a bigger impact. We moved to Montemaro Novo two years ago and uh, we are 100 kilometers from Lisbon and our vision is to create a space for everyone where sustainability is in the center and where we create a regenerative lifestyle that is accessible for everyone. Portugal because of uh, João, he is from Portugal so that was easy. <laughs> um, and then also because we, we saw that the opportunities that Portugal offers that uh, the potential that there is still a lot of things to do and it's much more easier to start a, a project like this uh, than in Switzerland, for example. We decided maybe the city wasn't the best place for us, so we decided to buy land. We swapped our apartment for a farm. Yes. When we got here, we had no idea on how to start because although we had theoretical experience or we had an idea on how we wanted to produce food, we didn't have expertise in that. So since then we've been learning a lot and we had support from many other people and we're still trying to do things the way we envisioned to. So it will be a four-star hotel with uh, rooms and apartments. We want it to be uh, a place for families but also for for uh, people working, uh, traveling alone or couples, for everyone. And we want to be open also for the locals. So there will be a restaurant that will be open, for example, or we will offer workshops and courses. And the idea is to create a space where everyone can come and being in holidays or working remotely or both, there's space for everyone to meet travelers, to meet locals, to come as a couple, alone, with your family, with your kids, with your parents. And our objective is really to have a space that is open, that is open for everyone. And everyone can be close to nature, close to a more sustainable lifestyle, learn how you can be regenerative. And all of this happening in this very small village we're creating at the outskirts of the city of Montemorano. The idea for families is uh, the opportunity for parents, for example, to spend uh, holidays with the kids, but also if they have to work, they can work here. And the kids uh, in the meantime can have activities and courses or even 
uh, have uh, online schooling. The restaurant will have only local food. Um, that's why we already planted uh, the agroforest and we are starting with the agricultural production just now. And uh, there is also uh, our goal to have as less uh, food waste as possible and um, to offer healthy food for everyone. It takes a village is a proverb, an African proverb uh, that says uh, it takes a village to raise a child. And we actually have a lot of experience with that because we have three kids. And uh, we, we know how important it is to have grandparents and friends helping us uh, raising the child. And we also saw this uh, here in Gandum when we started to plant the uh, agroforest. We, we have an a, a area of two hectares that was first impossible for us to think that we could plant all this, this area. But then we had a lot of volunteers and helpers and in the end we, we could do it. And that's also our motto for Gandum village to together we can regenerate uh, the future. The sustainable lifestyle is to have a, a don't ha not have a negative impact on the on the footprint of our actions, and the regenerative uh, lifestyle is a is a step forward, is having a positive impact in all in every action we take. Uh, this is our office for now. It was a, was an old garage, and uh, in the future it will be. Um, a workshop space for the hotel. In this uh, old water mill that is now being renovated, you can see down there the, the aqueduct where the water has been transported before. The house has two floors. The first floor will be a working area for people on the computer, and downstairs it will be the place for workshops as well. So this is the main house of Gandung for now. Um, it will be, um, here we will have the, the main entry for the reception and uh, we will have the restaurant in this building here. On the other side, here we will have an outdoor eating area because most of the time here in Alentejo the weather is good and uh, we can sit outside and enjoy the sun. When we bought this this farm here uh, three years ago, um, it was abandoned for a long time, almost 15 years. And um, all this area was full with uh, brambles. So before we even knew what we bought, we had to cut everything down to see uh, the beauty of this place. This was an old tennis court. Ah. It looked very abandoned, and it was very abandoned. We've cleaned up the, the nettings and uh, now have this beautiful space here for events. We're thinking about outdoor events, planting trees here, tables, putting tables. Here we are at the Gandung village Hall. Goes through the whole property. Now we are passing on the other side of the river. Here is our future central square of the village. So we're rebuilding now this uh, water tank and the aqueduct. And here will be uh, the central space where, for example, we have we will have kids' activities, movie nights, um, or or gatherings. So when this fills up, it's already filling a little bit, the water pressure will go up and we can come here, open the gates and the water flows into the old water mill, the future co-work. You can see here the, our goats here. We have a few goats here that help us cut the grass on the property because this grass here it will uh, dry out in summer or it's already dried out and it's dangerous to, because of the wildfires. So that's why we 
have to cut it or we have our little helpers here. On the other side of the fence we already see the space where the new construction will be built with the rooms from the hotel. It will be built with a round earth that is directly used from the foundation. And standing here where the, the future rooms will be built. And from here we can also have a we'll have a, a view on the castle of Montemor that is now hidden behind the trees. The agro forest of Gandung. This was planted um, in January. So we see here we have uh, in lines we planted uh, fruit trees every four meters. There's uh, different fruit trees, so we have a lot of variety. And in between the fruit trees, we planted a lot of cuttings of different. Uh, Species from the forest. This is a willow, and uh, we have, uh, for example, poplar here. We have uh, elderberry just next to it, and we planted also a lot of seeds in between here, all this land. So the idea is that, of course, everything will grow, but uh, we will cut back the the trees, and um, we will use the. Um, the, the, cut, uh, the organic material for mulch. So the mulch helps uh, the soil to evap evaporate less uh, humidi humidity. And uh, so we don't have to irrigate that much also. Um, we have, um, we planted a lot of different species. So, so this helps also the whole biodiversity of the, the space. And uh, until we will have some fruit trees, there will only also uh, still go a few years. So in between the rows, we now planted uh, onions. My name is Miguel Oven. I'm the resident farmer at Gandum village. I've been here for three, three-ish months, almost four now. Um, and I've been working on an organic uh, annual vegetable production system mainly within in the space of the agroforestry lines here and we're trying to do it in the most ecologically conscious way possible here for example where we have uh, summer squash or zucchini over there on the right uh, some eggplant some bush beans peppers uh, there'll be cucumber, there'll be some more squash up top, and then we'll have sweet potato and more bush beans over on the last space. So we're cultivating these crops, uh, interspacing the agroforestry lines, which sort of frames them in a, in a, in a more natural environment, which will uh, curb the uh, unbalances of uh, sort of the pest problems and all that, because it'll It'll host a lot of the insects, which the beneficial insects, so it'll have a sort of an integrated uh, pest control factor coming from, from all, the, all the wildflowers and all the, all the natural hiding places which these insects can burrow in and live in. We are Joao and Martina. This is our project, our vision to create a space where everyone can have a more regenerative lifestyle because we need a lot of people doing something, not just a few, doing it perfectly. Our motto, it takes a village and we want to create a better future. Until we will open the space, this will still take some time, so we are planning on 2023. But until then, we will host events here, have volunteer opportunities, uh, courses. And if you want to be informed about what's going on, uh, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We also have a, a website where uh, .pt, where we will put all the updates of what is going on here. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.